freezing and I opened the window and I wasn't planning on doing this video right away but then I decided to forgot to close the window now it's freezing and I know that has nothing to do with this video but anyway a lot of you guys were talking in the comments and I saw you guys were mentioning that you wanted me to talk about like my art theft experiences I never once thought about talking about this sort of thing or figuring out how to talk about it or what experiences I should talk about so I'm kind of just rolling with it and hopefully you guys don't mind me just rolling with it and just being myself and figuring out what the heck I'm supposed to talk about today. But if you're wondering what I'm drawing today, I'm actually drawing an adoptable OC. I, it's my first time ever drawing one that someone could adopt and take for themselves and own it entirely. So it's a pretty exciting, but also a little nerve wracking because I'm like scared no one's gonna like it. Even though I had a lot of fun designing this one and it's going to be adoptable up on the Amino sometime after the 23rd, I believe, of this month. That's when the Amino things are gonna be happening and more things are gonna be going up on there. So I hope you guys will be there and you guys will try and see if you want to adopt it or whatnot. Even if you, you're probably going to hate it, but yeah, I hope you at least look <laughs> because I'm putting a lot of work into this. So I really hope you guys will like it. But anyway, like I was saying, art theft, I'm supposed to be talking about art theft. Um, I'm trying to figure out what experiences were my most terrible experiences, but I've never been one of those people who've been really offended by art theft or been really upset about it. I know some people do get really upset about it or really, really offended about anyone who ever posts their art, even if they do credit them. Some people just don't like their art being reposted, but I've never been one of those people. Like sometimes I do see my art reposted and no one did credit me. Like it's like I'm not there, but that doesn't really offend me that much. I'm more just like, well, at least they liked my art. I'm sure I'm not getting anything out of them posting it, but I don't really expect it. And plus it's like the internet, so I kind of expect it to happen, I guess. I don't know. I guess I'm just really chill about that. And it's never really bothered me much at all. Even though I've had lots of art that's just, I guess they can't really get much out of it because when they post the art, they can say it's theirs and they can offer to draw other people's OCs and stuff, but since they didn't draw the originals, they can't really get much out of it since they can't really continue to do it. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. I guess that just in my head it makes sense and I'm just kind of like not that upset about art theft. But I am more upset actually about art theft when it happens to other people. Like when I'm on my Amino, art theft happens all the time and that's really upsetting to me because I'm like, well, you didn't draw that but you're stealing this person's hard work. Like that person spent hours on this and spent hours and hours practicing to be that good and you just steal it. Then that's when I totally understand art theft and being upset about it. But when it's happened to myself, for some reason, I lose that and I don't ever feel really that upset about it. But anyway, let me think. The first time I had art theft ever happened to me, I started art online and more publicly when I was around 13, maybe? Maybe 13, 12, 13, 14, some, somewhere around there was when I first started art online. And it was actually on Roblox.com, believe it or not. I know, Roblox has been a meme for a while now. I don't know why that randomly became a meme, like a whole oof thing and all that. <laughs> I don't know. But that's the first place I started doing art and started actually like, charging for it. I charged Robux, which was the money on Roblox. And I later started charging $5 on Roblox for my drawings. And then slowly over time, I started charging more. And I moved over to YouTube and stuff like that. So that's how I got here. But. On Roblox, the first time I really experienced art theft was once I finally started getting my art out there. My art was very simple. You guys probably saw it. You remember the chins that were like triangles and really pointy? That was my first art. And I started getting art theft where people would steal it and post it and then say it was theirs. But the thing about Roblox was that when you post the art, it's pretty bad quality. But then when someone tries to repost the art, it gets even worse quality. So the quality when it's reposted is kind of like a thousand times worse than the original. So finding art theft is pretty easy on Roblox compared to other places, unless they find the um, original, like they could find my art on DeviantArt then post it there, it would be fine, but they just took it off Roblox and reposted it on Roblox. So the art, the quality just got so much worse. But this was, the reason this one was really funny was because when we asked the person like, oh, well, that's not your art. The, the reply was, no, it is my art. Even though they showed that their art was posted like I think like almost like two weeks after mine was posted but they still were fighting that it was theirs even though they were talking to me they were trying to convince me that it was theirs like if you're stealing art you don't try and convince the actual artist that you stole that you didn't steal their art which that makes no sense you don't try to convince the artist you're trying to convince the other people 
I'm not like I'm trying to tell you guys how to steal art, but you know what I mean? Like you're convincing the people, but you're not convincing the artists because the artists, of course they know they drew that art because they drew it. You can't convince them, but they were trying to convince me that it wasn't mine. It made no sense to me. They were saying that I somehow hacked them on their computer, stole their art, posted it first two weeks earlier, then they had to hack me back, steal the art back, and then post it. That's what they said. I'm not kidding. And it's because it was Roblox, okay? Everyone was children. So they probably didn't think that through or didn't think about how that made no sense and how that really didn't help their case. But that's what happened for my first art theft or around the first one. Like there was quite a few originally, but that was the funny one I remember anyway, because I thought it was hilarious that that even happened. But the other time when I talk about art theft, it's normally not to myself when I notice it. So most of these things I'm thinking about has nothing to do with my art actually, because I don't really think about it. But with on my Amino, you know, on the Amino we have like moderators and curators and stuff like that or whatever they're called. And we have to try and find artists that are, well not artists, but people who are stealing art. And let me tell you, that happens a lot. There are so many people stealing art up on the Amino. It's crazy. But we have a rule that we have to have proof before we can actually inflict the like punishment of like if they got a strike or if they got banned, we have to make sure we have proof. Like would, the proof would be the original picture. So <laughs> when we decided to start doing that and all that, and we had this like art theft team and all that, I realized that a lot of people actually steal art and don't even second guess it. Normally I, I assume people who stole art would be like, oh man, I feel bad about that. I'm not gonna do that again. But my goodness, people, even if after you catch them and prove it to them, they'll still keep trying. And I, I was shocked by that. Like I give them like second chances, third chances, fourth chances, and they'd still do it. And I'm like, how is that even possible? There was this person who stole art, okay? And I knew that multiple on their page was stolen because I could, like, they looked very, very familiar. Though I didn't have proof yet because I needed to make sure I found proof of the original picture to tell them about it. So we finally found proof of one of the pictures. And, oh wait, the um, featured artist is Ash Senpai. I think it's, is that Ash Senpai? I, I don't know. But their, their art is absolutely go gorgeous. You guys have to go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. But anyway, my story, mm -hmm, back to that. I, um, they posted their art and I finally, we finally found the original of one of the pieces. So I went to go tell them and I was like, hey, look, this is the original. You stole this art. Please take it down and whatnot. Make sure you credit any art that's not yours and take down any art that you're trying to claim as your own and all that. And they're like, okay, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. And they took down that art, but they didn't take down the others that I knew they stole, but I didn't have proof yet. So I was like, then I was like, okay, well, be honest. Just make sure you take down anything that's not yours. She's like, yeah, I did. Even though she left up the art, I knew wasn't there. So later on, we ended up finding more proof so I came back to her as like, hey, you stole this art. And she was like, what? No, I didn't steal that art. And then she deleted it off her page and said, no, I deleted that weeks ago. Even though she just deleted it that hour, like that few minutes ago, she really fast went to delete it to try and say she deleted it back when I first asked her to delete it. So it got really awkward. I was like, but you just deleted that right now. And she's like, no, I deleted that weeks ago. Even though she just deleted it, just to try and prove her point. So that was annoying. Then we finally found proof again for like the third time. And this time she like sent me to a person, the original artist page and said, no, this is me. I'm on this other Amino. And she sent the original artist profile. So I wrote that artist and asked if it was her. And then she was like, that's not me. <laughs> and then I just sent that note. I took a screenshot of that note and sent it back to them. And they were like, they just left the chat and left the entire Amino after that. <laughs> it was so painful. I don't know how you can keep trying over and over again, even though you stole the art originally. But anyway, we're all done. If you guys have any art theft experiences, I'd love to hear about them. And I wanna know what you think about art theft and if it really bothers you if people steal your work. Because like for me, it doesn't really bother me if people steal my work much, but when people steal other people's work, it's a lot more aggravating to me because I feel like they put so much work into it. I, I mean, I put work in mine too, but you know what I mean. I just really wanna hear about what you guys think. And thank you guys so much for watching.